Danger Lurks Online, your essential guide to cybersecurity. The internet is double-edged sword while it connects us to information and opportunities. It also harbors the unseen threats. So, entering cybersecurity, the essential shield of protecting you and your valuable data from these online dangers. Have you ever imagined that your computer is a fortress and your personal information the precious treasure within? Cybersecurity that equips you to build the robust defense against cyber criminals. Digital adversaries who lurk online aiming to steal information, disrupt operations, or cause a chaos. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Do not worry. This guide is your launchpad into the world of cybersecurity. We'll break down the basics from understanding the threats to fortifying your defenses. Hi everyone and welcome you all to the content of cybersecurity for beginners. So, before we begin, please do like, share and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated to the latest content on the Edureka's YouTube channel. And also check out Edureka's cybersecurity course in which the link is given in the description box below. Now let's get into the video. Today's agenda for the video would be Firstly, what is cybersecurity? The threats of cybersecurity? Protecting yourself? Securing your devices and networks? And some data privacy and protection that is needed. The internet is a vast and wonderful place, but just like venturing the real world. It's important to be aware of the potential dangers too. Cybersecurity is all about protecting yourself and also your information from these online threats. Here's a breakdown of the basics for beginners. Let's see firstly, what is cybersecurity? Imagine venturing a real world. You'd lock your doors, be cautious in unfamiliar areas, and protecting your valuables. Cybersecurity is a digital equivalent, safeguarding your information and devices in the vast online landscapes. In a sense, where cybersecurity is the practice of protecting computer systems, networks, and data from unauthorized access use, disclosures, and disruptions, modifying or disruptions. Here's a breakdown of the key aspects. Firstly, let's learn about protecting your digital assets. That is, this encompasses everything from your personal information, passwords, and your computers, smartphones, and online systems that you use. Next is the combating cyber threats. These threats can be malicious systems like malware, phishing scams designed to steal information and hacking attempts to gain unauthorized access to, or even social gatherings that can manipulate people into revealing sensitive data. Lastly, it's the building defenses. Thinking of firewalls, strong passwords, and security software as your own digital armor, creating barriers to protect your information and devices too. Let's learn some threats of cybersecurity. Cyber threats, lurking dangers online. The internet's amazing, but watch out for hidden dangers. Cybersecurity threats are like digital landmines, waiting to steal your information and disrupt your devices. Here's a quick rundown to the bad guys. Firstly, let's see how it's malware. It also talks about some nasty software like viruses, worms, and some ransomware can infect your devices, steal data, or hold your files hostage. Phishing scams. Decept emails that can have messages that tricks you into clicking bad clicks and revealing personal information. Hacking. Digital bulgaries where exploiting weaknesses to break down into systems and steal data or cause your trouble too. Protecting yourself. Shield yourself online. Here's your cyber defense kit. First, you have to keep a strong and unique password. Software updates, think before you even click, social media smarts. By following these steps, you'll be a cybersecurity pro in no time. To safeguard your cybersecurity threats, start to fortify your digital fortress with a strong passwords, unique combinations of letters, numbers, and symbols for each account. Layer up with multi-factor authentication that is your MFA for added protection. Let's see how securing devices and networks can happen where it is a paramount in today's interconnected digital landscape. To fortify your defense, prioritize regular patch management to address software vulnerabilities probability. It also has the encryption of best practices to safeguard sensitive data, both to transit and the rest. Utilize network segments and firewalls to access within your networks. Ensure securing is a software in all devices and equipments, including the strong authentication methods and disabling unnecessary services. Educate users on cybersecurity for the best practices. Implement access and also to detect the anomalies. Back up the crucial data regularly to develop the comprehensive accident response. Plan the mitigate and impact the potential breaches. By integrating these measures, you can have a proper devices and network against any cyber threats. By implementing these essential steps, you can create a very secure digital environment. Having the devices connected, having the network connected and reducing the risk of cybersecurity. Protecting a valuable data. 
That is how you can have a great response plan. So, now how data privacy and protection is managed. Certainly, here's a concise summarization of some key points having a data privacy and protection. In today's digital age, safeguarding your personal information has become a paramount. From sensitive financial details to personal identifiers, data privacy is crucial for any protective devices. Organizations must also implement robust data protecting measures and encryptions to employ training. They must also hold the upholding privacy standards and comply with the regulations. Having all the embracing privacy-focused technologies and advocating for stronger privacy protections, individuals and communities too, so they can have a campaign for data privacy rights and foster a safer digital environment for all. To know more about this content, visit our course in which the link is given in the description box below. Now, with this, we have come to the end of the video in Cybersecurity for Beginners. Hope you like this video. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!